Vamos con cosas positivas. Miren, realizaron un experimento con cuatro mujeres y le preguntaron cómo querían ser. Ellas se describieron, eh, las llevaron a peinar, maquillarse, les hicieron una sesión de fotografías. Les mostraron el resultado y sus respuestas son realmente increíbles. Veamos. Growing up, I was kind of always self-conscious, like wanting to look a certain way. It's a never-ending battle. And you look at yourself and you know you can never attain that ideal. As I've gotten older, you see different changes. I feel like I have some wrinkles around my eyes. I'm never gonna be skinny. I'm not a skinny girl. It can be hard when you see models and celebrities and like you just don't look the same. Oh my God. I did not expect it to look like that at all. I feel like it doesn't even look like me. I think because I know myself, this looks really different. Why would you want to make someone look so different? I like my freckles. I think they add character and the fact that they're gone, I don't even know who that is. Just as a normal person, seeing yourself change and your identity changed, it's pretty, pretty shocking. Once someone else has done your makeup and someone else has done your hair and someone's directed the way your body looks and then taken away your imperfections, then there's not much left of who you really are. This is how I always wanted to see myself, but now that I see it, I'm like questioning why I ever wanted to look like that. You look at these ads in magazines, you see these women who look absolutely flawless and you're like, ah, oh, I wish I could look like that, but who really looks like this. I think we live in a really interesting time where we feel like we have to make people look to the standard that's not attainable for anybody. Instead of looking at other things and trying to aspire to be something else, we should just be comfortable in who we are and just try to be our best selves. I think something that everybody should keep in mind is that it's natural to be critical of yourself. It's natural to be uncomfortable or awkward, but you just have to know that the ideal just doesn't exist. Así es, y no somos perfectas. Yo sé que tiene que recordárselo cada mañana que a pesar de, las, de los defectos físicos que tengamos, nosotros tenemos que seguir adelante, amarnos, mirarnos al espejo y decir, bueno, realmente la decisión está en mí, poder ser una mujer que sale adelante, depende de mí también ser una mujer que se ama y dice, bueno, yo estoy bien y así como yo me amo, también me van a amar los demás, me van a respetar y me van a valorar. Así que póngase las pilas, ámese al máximo y lo más importante es poder decir, bueno, realmente hoy es un buen día para poder comenzar de cero. Si usted tal vez ayer o anteayer o hace un año tenía todo como esas culpas o vergüenzas o, o, o algo que no le gustaba de usted, hoy es un buen día, no espere que sea 1 de enero o no espere que sea nuevo, un nuevo mes, ni una nueva hora, ni un, no. Hoy, en este momento, es un buen día para comenzar. Vamos a continuar de, con más de Hola El Salvador. Vamos a una pausa. Regresamos con todos los saludos que la gente se está manifestando a través. También Liz Portillo dice, un, un saludo a mi novio Alexander Rodríguez, que lo amo y muy bonito su programa. No me lo pierdo. Así que un beso para todos ustedes que nos están viendo a través de la fanpage y, por supuesto, canal12.com.sb. Volvemos. Corazón que canta.